Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and in this video we are going to discuss about fibrocystic disease. So in the previous video series we were discussing about benign breast lesions, the benign breast lungs and fibrocystic disease at another entity to those benign breast pathologies. So we will discuss about the pathogenesis epidemiology of fibrocystic disease and clinical features. When considering the pathogenesis of fibrocystic disease, it occurs with fluid filled brown or oval sacs which are called the cysts and more prominent scar like tissues which are fibrous tissues. They are formed making the breast tender and lumpy. As you can see in this picture, in breast with fibrocystic disease, multiple cysts are formed within the breast tissues and also the fibrous tissue formation is also high. And this is the pathophysiology which occurs in fibrocystic disease. Then let's look at the epidemiology of fibrocystic disease. It is a common breast pathology and also more common in premenopausal women. And it has no risk of breast cancer. So you should need to know about these two facts regarding the epidemiology of fibrocystic disease. And let's see what are the clinical features of fibrocystic disease. So let's look at the history. And examination findings. So in history, the patient will present with breast pain. This pain either cyclical or constant and this breast pain can occur bilaterally, unilaterally or as focal pain. So breast pain is a presenting complaint of fibrocystic disease. And breast tissues increase in size before the onset of menses and return to baseline after the onset of menstrual flow in patients with fibrocystic disease. And this change most commonly occur in upper outer quadrants of breasts. So you learn that. In history, breast pain will be a presenting complaint which could be cyclical or constant and also it can occur bilaterally, unilaterally or focal and this pathology mostly involves the upper outer quadrant of the breast. And in examination, breast tenderness can be there. And generally, fibrocystic disease does not form a well-defined mass. So, diffuse changes in the breast are there, but the breast may feel nodular on palpation. This is a cross-section of a pathological sample of a breast tissue which has fibrocystic disease. So you can see two cysts, there are several cysts and increased fibrous tissue. So by looking at this picture, you can imagine why the nodularity is there in a breast with fibrocystic disease. So those are the examination findings of breast with fibrocystic disease. So you learn about the history and examination findings of patients presenting with fibrocystic disease. So in this video, we discussed about pathogenesis, epidemiology and clinical features of fibrocystic disease. We learned that there are cysts and fibrous tissues within the breast which are formed making the breast more tender and lumpy. It is more common in 
premenopausal women. It has no risk of breast cancer and patients may present as breast pain. It is cyclical or constant. It can occur bilaterally, unitary or focal. Involving upper outer quadrant most commonly and in examination there can be breast tenderness and diffuse changes can be there with nodularity in the breast. Let's look at a multiple choice question. A 40 year old female presented with bilateral breast pain, what are the features suggestive of fibrocystic disease? There are five statements, so you have select whether each of these statements is true or false. The first one is it is bilateral, so you know that it is true. Fibrocystic disease can occur bilaterally, but it can occur unilaterally as well. The statement B says cyst formation. So it is also true, cyst formation can occur in fibrocystic disease. So it is the pathophysiology. Statement C mentions cyclical pain. It is also true. The patient may have either cyclical pain or constant pain. The statement D mentions pain more in the upper middle zone. I think this should be little, little changed as upper medial zone. Anyway, this is, statement is false because you know that fibrocystic disease most commonly occur in upper outer zone. The statement E mentions that granular feeling when palpating areola. So it mainly implies the finding in fibrocystic disease that we can feel the nodularity on palpation of breast. Therefore, E also you can take as true. Like that, multiple choice questions can be asked on fibrocystic disease.